Hello everybody, Mark from BurtonBibles.com here. Um, just bringing you another brief overview of a Bible in the Cambridge Bible range. This one is uh, the new Cambridge Paragraph Bible. Um, it's available as a hardback, as it is here with this nice uh, dust jacket. And it's also available in calf skin leather. This one, the hardback uh, retails for £25. The calf skin leather one is a very nice binding in knee indeed, and that retails for £100. Um, this is printed on Bible paper. It's in a paragraph format, as the name would suggest. It's black letter text only. It has translator's marginal notes, and it's printed in an eight and a half point um, Swift font, which is, uh, which is very clear and very legible. If we get our ruler out, we'll see that the Bible is about eight and a half inches by about six inches, so it's it's just over a hand size, but it's uh, your standard sort of hardback novel uh, sort of size. Um, it's uh, quite attractive, I don't mind it, it's quite a nice different look, and indeed what it offers is something quite a bit different in the King James Version range. This Bible <coughs> is quite interesting. Um, there was a man, uh, David Norton, who has gone over the King James Version text and he has uh, corrected certain things that at the time uh, in 1611 um, seemed right. He's corrected a few of those things. Um, no need to be too alarmed. He's corrected some spelling mistakes uh, that the translators back then just didn't know. Um, for example, ebony, E-B-E-N-Y, he's changed to ebony, E-B-O-N-Y, and mo um, for more, um, which are two simple examples uh, as to some of the changes um, and there are a couple of others where he's changed it to be correct grammatically um, for example in Matthew 23 24 it says strain at a gnat um, so he's changed that to strain out a gnat uh, sim so just simple things like that um, that has gone into breathing um, onto um, the King James version just making it that little bit more um, readable and legible for today but it is the King James Version translation it's n in no other way um, is it changed or altered from the original King James Version text as you can see this is the format uh, we can see that that, uh, that that typeface is working really nicely on the page printed on Bible paper um, so we've got a reasonable level um, of opacity there but there is some ghosting coming through which isn't a massive problem because the actual text itself with it being a more modern typeface um, is extremely extremely um, clear and readable and attractive um, there's the poetic section there you can see how those paragraphs really stand out um, in this particular uh, section and if you're looking for a King James version but that's just a little bit more different um, in the same way uh, that the clarion is a little bit more different with a digital uh, font and laid out in a single column attractive format not an archaic um, more old-fashioned or traditional format as we've seen with some of the text editions the emerald text and the large print text then this is really worth looking at because it looks it looks nice and clear there's plenty of room if you wanted to do some markings um, please try uh, with the paper before you do. Um, it's not red letter and in the back of the Bible I don't think there's anything um, anything additionally, there's no glossary, there's no maps, there's no index or concordance or anything like that. It is um, primarily the text with these column references there and there's some notes in those columns which uh, relate to the verses that are numbered um, and gives you some meanings and translator notes there which is very handy. So this is the Paragraph Bible, the new Cambridge Paragraph Bible from Cambridge University Press. A very interesting edition, a uh, very good value if you get it in the hardback to sit on your shel shelf or to take around um, uh, as a companion. Uh, it's £25, so it's very good value indeed. So I hope you found this interesting. Check us out on www.burtonbibles.com and give us a like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, I'll speak to you another time. Thank you. Bye-bye.